In 2004, NASA unveiled the Hubble Ultra Deep Field, an awe-inspiring image that captured a small portion of the Fornax constellation. Within this snapshot resided approximately 10,000 galaxies, a fascinating glimpse into the distant past, with some of them originating a staggering 13 billion years ago, a mere 800 million years after the explosive event known as the Big Bang. These cosmic images provide scientists with an invaluable opportunity to investigate galaxies at various stages of their evolution. To illustrate, let's imagine a group of extraterrestrial beings keen on comprehending the process of human aging. Equipped with their compact, saucer-shaped spacecraft, they decide to capture an image of all the individuals congregating in New York City's bustling Times Square. By capturing a comprehensive snapshot featuring people of all ages, this celestial snapshot would enable them to conduct subsequent analysis and draw further insights. In a similar manner, astronomers employ the Hubble Ultra Deep Field image to explore the evolution of galaxies. Nevertheless, despite the plethora of modern observatories at our disposal, astronomers still grapple with numerous unanswered questions surrounding the exact genesis and growth of galaxies. What we did know previously was that some of the oldest galaxies in existence formed when the universe was approximately one billion years old. However, the advent of the James Webb Space Telescope has expanded our knowledge, revealing that galaxies actually existed when the universe was a mere 300 million years old. Nonetheless, when it comes to unraveling the precise sequence of cosmic evolution pertaining to massive celestial bodies, scientists continue to face a perplexing conundrum akin to the age-old question of whether the chicken or the egg came first. Determining whether galaxies or black holes came first has been a pivotal objective of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. Astronomers have just shattered records again Using spectroscopy, scientists have confirmed the most distant galaxy ever observed, with a redshift of more than 14. This means its light has been traveling for over 13.5 billion years, showing us a galaxy that existed just 280 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was a mere 2% of its current age. But here's the catch. This galaxy is massive, far larger than models predicted for such an early stage of the universe. Conventional theories suggest galaxies take billions of years to form, yet this one already contains hundreds of millions of stars and has undergone intense star formation. Even more surprising, Webb's mid-infrared instrument detected emissions from hydrogen and oxygen, proving that the galaxy had already gone through chemical enrichment meaning earlier generations of stars had already lived and died. This discovery is a game-changer, challenging our understanding of galaxy formation and suggesting that the first structures in the universe evolved much faster than we ever imagined. Some astronomers argue that the Big Bang model still holds, while others believe these findings demand a serious rethink of our understanding of cosmic expansion. And now, things take an even wilder turn. Professor Laya Shamir of Kansas State University has introduced a bold new theory, one that challenges everything we think we know about the cosmos. He suggests that data from Webb provides compelling evidence that the entire universe might actually be spinning. That's right, the entire universe may be spinning, and if true, this discovery would shake the very foundation of modern cosmology. We've long believed that the universe has no preferred direction, expanding uniformly in all directions. But what if we've been wrong this entire time? Some scientists are even considering an extreme but intriguing idea. What if the universe itself is a giant spinning black hole? It sounds like science fiction, but observational data suggests this theory might not be as crazy as it sounds. According to Professor Leo Shamir, when astronomers analyzed early galaxies, they found something bizarre. Almost all of them rotate in the same direction. 
In a universe without an overall spin, galaxy rotations should be randomly distributed, but instead they show a clear preference, hinting at a cosmic scale, angular momentum. Even more shocking, Shamir's team discovered that up to 50% more galaxies rotate one way over the other, an imbalance so noticeable that as he puts it, even a non-expert could see it just by looking at the images. If this pattern holds, it suggests that from the very moment of the Big Bang, the universe was already spinning like a cosmic top. To test this radical idea, Shamir and his team analyzed over 30,000 galaxies using their redshift measurements. And the results were staggering. The deeper scientists looked into the past, the greater the discrepancy in galaxy rotation became. This suggests that in the early universe, galaxies exhibited an even stronger alignment in their rotational direction, something that current cosmological theories struggle to explain. If these observations withstand further examination, they may compel researchers to reassess our fundamental understanding of the universe. They could even hint at physics that extend beyond Einstein's theories. Scientists are now actively investigating this phenomenon as it may unveil crucial aspects of the cosmos that have been overlooked for centuries. Some experts even propose that our entire universe might exist within a colossal, spinning black hole. If this idea holds true, space and time could function in ways we have yet to fully comprehend. While this may sound like speculation, the James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered additional evidence suggesting that the universe may not operate as we traditionally believe. Historically, in 1912, astronomers first noticed that nearby galaxies seemed to be receding from each other. The cause of this movement was not immediately understood. However, in 1929, Edwin Hubble's observations confirmed that the universe is expanding. This expansion means that the space between galaxies is stretching, causing them to drift apart. Hubble also proposed that this expansion occurs uniformly in all directions. However, when scientists later used different techniques to measure the expansion rate, they discovered inconsistencies in their findings. These inconsistencies in the measured rate of cosmic expansion are known as the Hubble tension. For years, scientists believed these differences could be due to observational errors or limitations in measurement techniques. However, new data from the James Webb Space Telescope is casting serious doubt on that assumption. Recent findings confirm that the Hubble tension is real, suggesting that the universe's expansion is not uniform. In fact, the expansion rate appears to vary in different regions of the cosmos, contradicting standard theoretical predictions. Even more concerning is that the Big Bang model does not provide a straightforward explanation for this phenomenon. This has led scientists to reconsider fundamental questions. Are we overlooking key aspects of cosmic expansion? Or is what we perceive as expansion actually something entirely different? Professor Leo Shamir proposes that our understanding of galaxy motion may be flawed. He suggests that what we interpret as the universe expanding could be an entirely different process. One alternative idea, known as the tired light theory, proposes that as light travels through space, it gradually loses energy. This energy loss could create the illusion that galaxies are moving away from us when, in reality, another mechanism may be at play. Scientists believe this new theory could help explain the puzzling existence of early massive galaxies that seem older than the universe itself. Professor Shamir argues that recent discoveries from the Webb Telescope indicate the need to explore alternative cosmological models. Increasingly, researchers are questioning whether our understanding of the universe's expansion is flawed. While it remains uncertain whether the Big Bang theory requires a complete overhaul, mounting evidence suggests that current methods for measuring cosmic distances may be insufficient. 
Additionally, the recently observed spinning galaxies hint that the universe itself could be rotating. This has even led to speculation that the universe might function like a massive spinning black hole.